this is what I call the fast foam fly. I've gone ahead and built the back of the fly because it's pretty standard stuff. You start out with a little bit of bucktail, uh, a little bit of flash, and layer in the feathers, generally from light on the bottom to dark on top. Then you put a nice little uh, collar on it with a hackle. This one's a big hackle. Uh, a bass fly, so it probably needs to be pretty good size. You're using the craft foam. This is the thin stuff. You can get it thicker. Just depends on what you want the fly to be like. Run that up on there. Back a little ways. Maybe a little further. Strap it down tight. You take your orange or your lighter colors. In this case, I'm going to use yellow or chartreuse up underneath the bottom. You take that, run it pretty close to the front. And of course, you need to tie this off. Remove the thread now if you get a good knot on it. And check up the stuff I just dropped. Right. Bring that up to the top. Right about there. Just like that. A little bit of super glue. We're going to end up cutting most of this out. Like that. And you pull this back over the top. And you glue it down. Nice and neat. If you're lucky, it comes out even. Come back and right at the front of the hook, you pop that off. Rotate it to the side. That's where one eye is going to go. Super glue. Rotate to the other side. Up, squeeze it down. Back up this way. Get on rubber skirt. Makes great legs. Right behind the eyes, try to get through all the foam. Fairly straight, fairly even. Doesn't have to be perfect, fish don't care. Take a magic marker. Make him froggy. There you have it, a fast foam fly, takes less than five minutes. You can see what that looks like on the inside. Make a nice rotation there. And that's how it works. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.